subscribe to my channel and press bell icon for latest updates. Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Vikram. In this class, we will try to understand grey codes. So, uh, so far in our previous classes, we have covered uh, uh, classification. So, we, in our previous videos, we have covered classification of numeric codes. There, we have uh, uh, those numeric codes are classified into weighted codes and unweighted codes. In the category of unweighted codes, we have discussed about XS3 code. And we also said that gray code is also an unweighted word, uh, un unweighted code. And we haven't discussed anything about the gray code. So, in this class, we'll try to understand uh, what is meant by a gray code and how the gray codes will be obtained uh, th that those concepts we will try to understand in this class so uh, uh, as we have discussed about the bcd codes the gray codes are not same the representation of the decimal number in the gray codes is different from the way in which the decimal numbers are represented in the bcd codes so what does that mean is if you take a decimal number the way in which the decimal number is represented in the binary BCD code is different from the gray code. So how uh, a decimal number is represented in gray codes? In dec the decimal numbers, every decimal number will have a unique code in the gray codes which is similar to that of binary numbers whereas in the binary uh, whereas in the bcd code representation every digit in the decimal number is going to have a different code what does that mean is you may not be able to understand in that way for example for example if you take 15 15 is a decimal number in order to represent this 15 in BCD code representation how we are going to represent if you take any one of the uh, coding mechanism for example if you take 8421 coding mechanism if you take this coding mechanism BCD code and if you want to represent this uh, uh, decimal number 15 in this code how we are going to represent is uh, this is the way in which we have we, we we will represent so the discussion about these bcd codes was already made in our previous videos if you haven't watched those videos please watch those videos and come back here and every video in our channel is going to be a part of entire course or a playlist our suggestion is to follow the entire course so that you can have deeper insights of the concepts and the uh, link for the playlist is provided in the description below so now uh, in order to represent uh, decimal number 15 in BCD, this is the way in which we represent. But uh, uh, how this, this 15 will get represented in grey is every decimal number is going to have a unique code similar to that of binary number representation. If you take the binary representation of this 15, it is triple uh, four ones this is the binary representation of 15 in the same way gray code will also have a unique representation for 15 so that is the way in which the decimal numbers are represented in gray code how the coding for the decimal numbers can be obtained how it can be done how it can be done is gray codes can be obtained by reflecting an n minus one bit code about an axis at the end of the code and putting the msb of zero above the axis and putting and the msb of one below the axis so what does that mean you may not be able to understand by just reading the definition we will try to understand this definition so this uh, way of obtaining the gray codes for the decimal numbers by using an example so we will try to uh, we will try to extract the uh, gray codes representation of decimal numbers by using this definition so what it states is and one more thing is gray codes are also called as reflexive codes so what does that mean so that we will try to understand by understanding this definition and the gray codes are also called as unit distance cyclic codes okay so what that unit distance cyclic codes what is the reflecting codes that we will try to understand by understanding this the way in which we obtain the gray codes what they are saying is so if you want to for example if you take one bit representation of gray, gray codes one bit representation of gray codes if you want to if you want to represent the gray codes in n bits 
we have to get the reflection of the n minus 1 bits so with the 1 bits what are the possibilities that we have it is 0 and 1 so with this we are going we can represent the decimal 0 and 1 okay so this is one bit representation of gray codes for 0 and 1 so what are the possibilities with one bit it is 0 or 1 okay so now in order to get the two bit representation of uh, gray codes this is the way in which the decimal numbers will also get represented so with two, uh, two bits the maximum possibility are 0 1 2 3 okay so now how to get so in the one bit representation we got 0 and 1 so how to get the uh, how to get the codes for the two bit representation is uh, four four decimal decimal numbers can be represented by using two bits how to get the gray codes is how to obtain the gray codes is uh, obtained by reflecting the n minus 1 bit n minus 1 bit code in order to get a 2 bit representation we have to get the reflection of n minus 1 bits so what is n minus 1 bits 2 minus 1 is 1 bit representation is 0 and 1 so we have assumed this as an image uh, this as a mirror so assume this as an mirror what in order to to get the two bit representation of the gray codes we have to take the mirror image of n minus 1 bits what is n minus 1 bits it is 2 minus 1 1 bit so the the gray codes that are represented in one bit representation those gray codes are uh, for those gray codes we have to take the mirror image so that is why we call it as reflexive codes gray codes are called as reflexive codes so what is the mirror image of this it is one and zero for this mirror image what we have to do is at the end of the code so uh, we have to take the mirror image at the end of the code so at the end of n minus 1 code we have to take the mirror image and putting the msb of 0 above the axis so if you consider this as uh, this as an axis in order to get the two bit representation we have to put zeros above the axis and we have to put ones below the axis in the msb position in the msb position we have to put zeros above the axis and we have to put ones below the axis Access. So with this we are going to get the gray code representation of four decimal numbers. What are those four decimal numbers? Those four decimal numbers are 0, 1, 2, 3. So if you take the same decimal number 0, 1, 2, 3, 0, 1, 2, 3 in binary, the representation is different. Okay. So but, but uh, in the gray code the representation is different okay are you able to get the point okay but uh, uh, the way in which uh, uh, the binary the binary numbers the binary numbers represent the decimal numbers uh, which means the unique representation is given for every decimal number in the same way gray codes will also get represented so what is how to get the three bit gray codes how to get the three bit gray codes it is done in the same way in order to obtain the three bit gray codes we have to take the mirror image you have to take the mirror image of n minus one bit codes so what is n minus one we are trying to find the three bit uh, three bit codes in order to get three bit codes we have to take the mirror image of two bit codes so what is the mirror image of so for example if you take zero 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 one 1 1 and 1 0 these are the two bit gray codes in order to get the three bit gray codes we have to take the mirror image of these two bit codes now what is the mirror image it is this one will get reflected here and this one will get reflected here this one will get reflected here and this one will get reflected here so this is what we call it as reflexive codes so these are what we call it as reflexive codes now what we have to do so to this reflection to this reflection above the axis to the msb we have to add zero this is zero 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 and this is one 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 okay so these are the these are the 
numbers which are represented these are the codes which are represent gray codes which are represented for 3 bit numbers and what are the decimal equivalent of these codes it is 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 and similarly if you want to take the 4 bit representation how to do it how to do that so you try to do the reflection of this 3 bit image so this 3 bit image this 3 bit codes has to be taken the reflection of this 3 bit has to be taken how that happens it is 100 this will get reflected here and this 101 will get reflected here similarly we will get 000 at the end so you try you try to get the reflection image of the 4 bit uh, 4 bit gray codes and try to convert them into convert them into decimal representation okay so this is the way in which the gray codes will get obtained and the gray codes as we have already said the gray codes are said to be the the uh, the gray codes are also called as unit distance cyclic codes what does that mean so consider this 3 bit representation so this is the three bit uh, gray code representation we are saying that uh, the gray codes are unit distance codes what does that mean if you take two successive codes if you take two successive codes the difference between those codes is uh, in uh, just a bit what does that mean is if you take two successive codes the difference between these two codes or the distance between these two codes is just one bit for example if you take these three bits uh, and these three bits the only differentiation is done by one bit so just by differing one bit from the preceding code you will get the successive code so that is what we call it as unit distance code and what is meant by cyclic code cyclic code means the last code will be differentiated by just only one bit so this is what we call it as cyclic code so this cycle repeats for the last and the first code also so that is the reason why gray codes are called as cyclic unit distance codes see here cyclic means this last code 100 is differentiating will get differentiated by only one bit by changing this 0 to 1 we are going to get this code so this is what we call it as cyclic code and uh, you take if any two successive codes they will differ by only one bit so let's check if you take these two codes the only difference 001 will get differentiated uh, by only one bit and this is uh, that bit and you take these two codes here one has been changed these two are same but this one has been changed to zero you take any two successive codes they will differ by only one bit one unit distance that is the reason why gray codes are called as unit distance codes and they are cyclic they are also called as cyclic codes because the last the last bit is the last bit is also a unit distance code with the first bit so that is the reason why they are called as a cyclic unit distance codes and uh, uh, this, this is the way in which uh, the gray codes will get obtained so my suggestion is to please create the gray codes for four bit codes for four bit uh, uh, gray codes try to get the codes you are going to get uh, the codes for 15 decimal numbers 0 to 15 for the all those decimal numbers you will get the gray codes if you generate the 4 bit gray codes you are going to get uh, the deci the codes for 0 to 15 hope you got the clarity on this concept thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates and if you have any doubts regarding this concept please post your doubt in the comment section below thanks for watching